Hey, this is Dr. Barry. Let's talk for a few minutes about metabolic syndrome. You may have heard of this and wondered what the heck is that. Metabolic syndrome is very important and you really need to know what it is, what it means, what it, where it comes from, how you fix it. And so that's what we're going to talk about today. Trust me, you need to know about this. If you know someone who's overweight, who has high blood pressure, high blood sugar, or fat in the middle, please share this video on your Facebook channel, on your Facebook page. Please share this in a text message, share it on your Instagram. There are so many people with undiagnosed metabolic syndrome walking around at high risk for heart attack and stroke and other things I'll tell you about at the end of this video, and they have no idea that they're at risk because their doctor hasn't diagnosed them with metabolic syndrome. So let's talk about this. There are five criteria for metabolic syndrome. And I'm going to tell you what each, each of the five are. The first is abdominal obesity. And the way you measure this is, if you're a man, you measure around your belly at the belly button, at the navel. And if you are 40 inches or more, then that's a risk factor for metabolic syndrome. If you're a woman, then 35 inches around at the navel is, is your cutoff. If you're greater than that, then you're, you have a risk factor for metabolic syndrome. If you have a fasting blood sugar above 100, any, any time at home, at the doctor's office, even three years ago, if you go back and pull all your lab work from the doctors and you say, oh man, my blood sugar was 101 or 103, that's a risk factor for metabolic syndrome. The next is if you have repetitive blood pressures at home, calm, quiet, relaxed with a, an upper arm cuff, not a wrist cuff and it is routinely greater than 130 over 85, that's a risk factor for metabolic syndrome. If you have a fasting triglyceride level above 150, that's a risk factor for metabolic syndrome. If you are a man and you have HDL less than 40, or if you're a woman and you have an HDL less than 50, that's a risk factor for metabolic syndrome. Those are the five. Now, you only have to have three of any of these five to be diagnosed with metabolic syndrome. Now, why do we care if you're diagnosed with this? Well, because it is a risk factor for the two biggies, heart attack and stroke, okay? But it's also a risk factor for other conditions as well that I'll tell you about in a minute. And so what, what do all these have in common? Well, they're all caused by disorders of glucose and insulin metabolism. If you have a chronically high insulin level, as diagnosed with this elevated C-peptide or fasting insulin level, that's what's causing metabolic syndrome. All of these things that I just listed, all five, are caused by chronically elevated insulin blood sugars. That's what causes metabolic syndrome. Now, you may have noticed that there's something missing here. I didn't mention I didn't mention LDL, did I? That's not a risk factor for metabolic syndrome. I didn't mention total cholesterol. That's not a risk factor for metabolic syndrome. I didn't mention your, your uh, LDL particle size or shape or color or flavor because that's not a risk factor for metabolic syndrome. The five risk factors, which are not my opinion, that's, that's decided science. That's what the five risk factors are. If you have any of those, then you are at increased risk of heart attack, and stroke. Now, it's not just that. You're also, if you have three or more of these five, you're also at increased risk of gout. You're at increased risk of fatty liver, which is a huge deal that you're hearing more and more about. Another thing that's very dangerous that you don't hear much about is fatty pancreas. These risk factors also put you at increased risk for that. What about PCOS? Yep. The more of these you have, the more likely you are to have PCOS. If you're a man, the more of these risk factors that you have, the more likely you are to have erectile dysfunction. The more likely men and women are to, to develop dementia later on. These are all the things that are caused by chronically elevated insulin and chronically ele elevated blood sugar. Now, that's the bad news. The good news is, is that you can reverse all five of these by fixing your diet, okay, and by fixing your lifestyle. And I actually have another video. I'm going to link to it either here or here. I'm not sure which side it shows up on, but you can watch that next, and then you can, you'll can you know how to cure or fix your metabolic syndrome because it's completely self-inflicted, but it's also completely reversible by you, okay? Now, 
Yeah, also, one more thing that I need to tell you is as you get older, it becomes easier for you to develop three of these five, okay? So when you're 12 years old, you maybe can live on junk food and, and soft drinks, and it's still not good for you, but you're not going to immediately develop metabolic syndrome. But as you get older and older, you are much more likely to develop these risk factors and ultimately develop metabolic syndrome and all the terrible things that I've told you that come from that. As a matter of fact, there are over 60% of the folks who are 50 uh, years or older have three of these five. And it's not, it's not, you're not doomed at, at the age of 50 to magically develop metabolic syndrome. It's the buildup of years and years of a crummy diet and less than optimal lifestyle. So watch my other video about uh, how to cure metabolic syndrome. And if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, then you can click the subscribe button. I think it's there maybe. And there's a little button right beside it that looks like a bell. If you click that, then every time I get a bright idea, you'll be one of the very first people in the whole world to know about it, okay? If some of my videos have helped to improve your health a little bit or helped you lose some weight or helped you live a happier life, then you can click on my Patreon link. It's right down there below. It's a quick and easy sign up and you can throw a buck or two my way to help me have more time to make more videos to help even more people just like you. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.